Shoal Creek is a large, flood-prone watershed. It carries water from north of Highway 183 downstream approximately 10 miles to Lady Bird Lake. Over the years, some sections of the creek bank have become eroded, threatening trees and trails and degrading our water quality. Well, with Watershed Protection, we're planning a project to do some restoration on Shoal Creek here, starting up at Shoal Creek Boulevard and extending down just upstream of 15th Street. The project will also relocate wastewater lines from the creek bed, provide treatment for water quality, and improve the vegetation and trails along the sides of the creek. I'd say the biggest problem is the, the general creek erosion. We plan to stabilize about 3,000 feet of creek bank in this area. Native materials such as limestone boulders and native plants will be used to repair the eroded stream banks. It'll clean up Shoal Creek and make it a much more beautiful place. Um, in doing that, we are going to protect the streamside corridor. We'll reduce the loss of land that's occurring into the creek. Stormwater treatment will include green infrastructure techniques such as rain gardens and vegetated filter strips to remove pollution and improve the quality of water flowing into Shoal Creek. All the water in Shoal Creek starts up at uh, US 183 and makes its all way all the way to downtown and ultimately into Lady Bird Lake. So all that pollution can ultimately end up in Lady Bird Lake. So anything we can do to clean that water before it gets there is really a benefit to the community. The design phase of the project began in July 2011 and is expected to continue through 2012. During this phase, there will be several public meetings where the community can provide feedback on the design. We plan to begin construction on this project uh, in 2013. The project will last approximately one year and the construction budget is approximately $5 million to do all the work we're proposing. Portions of Pease Park and the Shoal Creek Hike and Bike Trail may be closed or rerouted during construction. We have a website set up where citizens can find more information on the project with contact names. There's also an email address directly to Shoal Creek and we also have a direct hotline if, if citizens prefer to call by phone where they can relay their information.